Uniswap version 3 is due for release on the 5th of May, and one of the most important parts of this upgrade is the concept of concentrated liquidity and the possibilities that this opens up for users to place range orders based on specific price targets. In this video, we'll be looking at how Uniswap range orders work and the possibilities and opportunities it opens up. To understand range orders, first we need to understand concentrated liquidity. Now in Uniswap version 2, a liquidity provider would provide a pair of assets, say Ethereum and US dollar Tether, for example, and the price would be set between a curve between zero and infinity, and the price can trade anywhere along that curve depending on the balances of each pool. Now with Uniswap version 3, a liquidity provider can actually specify a fixed range in which they want to provide liquidity. This is really useful for things like stable coins, which might trade actually only within a very small range. You don't necessarily want the price spread out from zero to infinity. You might only want it from 0.99 to 1.01 .01 to make your liquidity that you're providing more effective and earn more fees because of that. If the price moves outside the range that we specified, then the liquidity provider will suffer from impermanent loss. This means that they'll be left with 100% of the least valuable asset. And this is where range orders come in because it allows us to use this functionality to specify price limits at which we want to trade tokens. So going back to the Ethereum US dollar Tether example, let's say that Ethereum is currently trading at 2,500 US dollars and we only want to buy it if it gets below 2,000 US dollars. So we can supply a single asset as liquidity, in this case US dollar Tether, and a very tight range here between around the 2,000 mark. And when the price moves through that, our asset will be converted into Ethereum. We'll end up with a liquidity position which is 100% Ethereum. Then one thing to note is if the price reverts back above 2,000 US dollars and we haven't removed liquidity, then our tokens will be transferred back to 100% US dollar Tether. So we need to withdraw the tokens before the price reverts back. At any point when the price is trading within our range, then we'll be earning fees as normal for providing liquidity to that asset pair. So one of the best use cases for this, in my opinion, is to set take profit levels. Imagine a DeFi summer version two where everyone's going out and hunting down these Uniswap gems and you can go and buy a Uniswap token. Let's say token X costs $10. We can then set take profit levels between five and $50. And the liquidity curve will be set so that we're earning fees within that range and it will gradually sell that token out as the price moves up that range. If the price exceeds that take profit level, then we'll end up with 100% of our original token. I can see it's been a really good way to hunt down these small, low cap, moonshot tokens and then automate an entire strategy completely on Uniswap. So the release date for the Uniswap version 3 upgrade is currently the 5th of May. And the thing that's gonna make the big difference, I think is gonna be the optimism rollout, which is gonna lower the fees drastically for executing trades on layer two. That's actually not planned until July at present and it could be pushed back later. When that does go through though, I think that's going to make a massive difference and there's going to be a big flow of money from kind of alternative chains back to the Ethereum ecosystem. Uniswap has currently deployed some testnet contracts, so we can have a quick look at the documentation for these and the code to see how these functions are going to work. So the contracts are divided up into the core base contracts and the periphery contracts. It's the periphery contracts that I think most people will be interacting with to do general day-to-day -day stuff on Uniswap. Obviously most people are using the UI front end or third party services which are built on top of the Uniswap code. But it's quite interesting to see how this is working behind the scenes. And there's a couple of functions here, one for mint and one for increased liquidity. And you can see that we need to provide a number of variables to these, including the tick sizes, tick upper and tick lower. And every order price ranges are broken down into these ticks. And the differentiation on the tick size depends on the fee parameters for that pool. So a stable coin pool might have a very low fee structure and very fine tick sizes, for example. So one of the things I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is building a trading bot for Uniswap B3 to execute both range orders and general swaps using a Node.js script. So I think that what Uniswap are doing here is going to make a massive difference to how we interact with automated market makers in the future. The idea of concentrated liquidity is going to provide so much liquidity within a very tight price range it could reduce slippage to a point where Uniswap has a competitive advantage over centralized exchanges. And then the functionality of range orders and the concept of getting paid to provide liquidity while your range order is executing is going to appeal to the traders. It's going to open up a lot of the opportunities in that space. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel for updates. Thank you for watching.